is the one. Uh, Data Grid is a company which was formed in 1999 at the University of Florida, Department of Astrophysics by Professor Ho. And the vision was to bring to the market highly accurate, affordable, and easy to use GNSS customized and relevant to the demands of the market. We are just in Uganda in 2003 as the Grid Africa Center. And our target is the land tenure reform project under the Ministry of Lands, uh, commonly called as systematic demarcation. The Ministry of Lands was our entry point, and uh, they have defined the system for that project as follows. They wanted a DGPS, which was easy to use, 8 to 12 hours continuous use, waterproof, big volumes of data on flash memory, minimum training, address within the centimeter range and processing data in the field and to allow checks. They also wanted a long pole which was over five meters and then easy light emission diodes. I'll explain those later. So in 2004 Professor Paul came here and there are other professors to study the survey needs of the country. Uh, those are just some of the names of the people who have been here. And the first conference was in Entebbe in 2004. But during these meetings, uh, a lot of need arose from individuals, companies, ministries, and I was tasked to follow up. Since 2004 to date, many international companies have made proposals. Some of these are stone expenders coming otherwise for it. And we have agreed to market some of their products. Uh, and also, uh, we are looking after sell, su su after sell support and prices. These are really the key issues we are looking at when we market some of these products. Uh, we have also noted that bigger companies, uh, we don't mention their names, have very bad customer feedback. Customer care feedback. Uh, support is very crucial when you are going to work with these geomatic engineers. Uh, we are doing training on survey instruments, a wide array of survey instruments, but also photo stations labels. We sell DTBS, RTK, photo stations, labels, idioms. We also do manual interpretations. We repair and service survey machines. Let me, madam, request people to clap for this. This is very important. We are also doing data backup and uh, processing. Uh, and of course, sell and repair of materials. What do what these geomatic engineers need and judge people? Training on latest service systems. Latest, latest may mean as early as 2015. More training on different instruments, repair of failed equipment, calibration, accessories for equipment being bought as far back as in the 1960s. Training for their field assistance, but also they need to communicate with the equipment makers. Of course, they are also needed in area photography and more remote sensing services. Uh, these are some of the issues raised by our customers equipment breakdown, prices, issues of accuracy, radio range for the RTK systems, calibration, data backup services, short term training sessions, accessories for equipment cost of equipment, cables, and Bluetooth issues. These we compile from the many workshops and seminars we have attended. So our response is we have repaired a number of uh, systems, for example, for Makere, Zain. Uh, I don't know which department is Makere, but at least we have fixed some machines. Zain, by then it was Zain, but it's now Airtel. Private companies in videos have also benefited. Last year, in this conference, I said we had prepared, I think, 28 total stations. This year, the number has increased to 47 total stations, and over 160 handhelds and 22 labels. That is a good rise. Uh, however, out of the 47 total stations, 32 of them were brought by only one person. So I'm not sure if they are his or if they are fixed schedule stations from you. We have also tried to fix two field lights. One of them is working, the other one we need to order for parts. 
which we cannot find in the market. Uh, we can offer accessories from other equipment manufacturers. Calibration, collimation, importation is still pending, but I have that if, some information about in the next slides. These are some of the solutions we suggest to you when you buy equipment, use the warranty time. Most manufacturers give one to two years. During that time, you can reject equipment, you can ask for a refund, but also buy from data grid or other authorized sellers and not from the internet. Have a budget for maintenance and for buying parts if we need to do replacements for you. And also most the equipment, for those of you who have been honest and told us the truth, break at the time when you have finished your, 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 your survey when you are very tired. Um, I have, um, there is this service center in Dubai which can do collimations and calibrations and uh, the, my partner is here, Shala Dada, who is actually the uh, chief in this center. Okay, so Shala, you welcome to this conference. Um, issues of accuracy, there are many factors that contribute to this, but for example, for DGPS, you have to observe the leaders and the procedures, and these are written in the manual, all the manufacturers have them on CDs. Observe for longer times for DGPS. If you don't get the results you want, you can be observed the next day. Also use trained personnel. I'm sorry, Madam Chair, this goes directly to the land surveyors. There are so many mass carriers in the land service sector, and many of them are using the handheld GPS. Actually, most of the handheld GPS we have fixed are from these people who are, who are qualified as training. Okay, check the accuracy of your own points, service the machine, and if all these fail, we have created an FTP site on the internet, a file transfer protocol site where you can put your big files and then we can look at your data, but also our other scientists can look at your data from the United States. For the manual GPS, we recommend initialize for the first 10 to 20 minutes. This is the main switch on your handheld GPS or your handheld solid unit. Leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. And um, even when you go for lunch, leave it on until the day's work. Because it will continue tracking more and more satellites. Of course, for the handheld, you know, you need four or more to fit, have a good uh, fix. Then also the question of good geometry and all these you guys you know really. Use high-end batteries. Do run an agilizer, Jerry. Don't buy Tiger uh, because they are cheap and so on. By design, they are supposed to give you a certain accuracy, so they are not meant for land survey. Land surveyors are very, very uh, serious in issues of accuracy. I'm very sure at the end of this, they are going to ask me how accurate is what you are saying. Okay, maintenance schedule is what we recommend. Total station six months, robotic three months, the other six months, DGPS one year, handhelds, this varies on handling, let us recommend at least one year. And please, once you bring the equipment to us, tell us the truth. For example, did it fall? Was it a knob? Was it a drop? And in the manual, usually they put the prescribed for you that this machine can stand knobs of this magnitude or falls of this magnitude. All these affect different parts of the machine. And the repair may include fixing that part, replacement of the part which we have to order, or throwing it away. This is also part of the website. So that is uh, the website where, where you can post your data. But Professor Paul has also said now it's possible to keep some of your data on a satellite in space. Okay, this is the calibration machine which I showed you last year and I'm still struggling to have it here. I've not yet succeeded the exam But what is happening is that the person who wants to go on this machine to, 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 to find it wants us to justify that it will be fully utilized. He doesn't want the machine to be idle. So I'm sending out a form to all of you using that email. That email. The, the deal, that one. 
fill it up generally, tell us the machines that you have, and then we see if we really can justify having this machine that they could call it later can break the machine. But also the services that you buy through Shala, we can make an internal arrangement and send the equipment there. And the good thing is that Shala keeps coming here in Uganda almost every other month. So we can we can send it there. Remember you have to fill a form in URA, re-export form. There's that form which you have to get to get the equipment out of there. But we can help you do that. We have enough space at the center and we own our premises. So, the short training on hands, hands on, on total station, blah, 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 blah. And these are always customized for the customers from days to three weeks, including Saturdays, and the costs are different. Cost of equipment, a lady called me yesterday, Madame Chair, and said, I should include this in the slides, and it is hard. Total stations from 10 to 25, used only. Total stations refurbished means that maybe. Uh, it's assembled and taken back to the factory and rearranged and maybe recolored. 15 to 25. New stations 15 to 150. Dual frequency new 28 to 40. Other tickets 30 to 100 million. We don't sell Chinese other tickets, I must emphasize that. <laughs> Robotic stations 20 to 60 again. Handhelds from 400,000 Ugandan is to 8 million. And that's the accuracy. So, what time is cost? The maker of the brand, the accuracy of the machine, number of items purchased, year of manufacture is not true according to our observations. You can find a machine which was made in 1995, uh, in more expensive than that one which was made last year. Mode of purchase, there is bidding, you can walk in a customer, but there is also some shorter processes. Weight, DHL, which is a Korean company, Calculates weight to ship, then taxes, then the payment method, and then there's a very small, a very small profit for us. <laughs> okay, when you have a problem, identify the need, sign the paper, and the model number of your machine, pay half, and then we acknowledge the pay, we place the order, we ship either to USA, then to Florida, or uh, our company Caltera is Sweden. Then it is checked by one of our engineers there. Then the agent will pick up customs, clearance, you will know this. And then testing and delivery. So to get equipment between four to six weeks, then you can spend the remaining money in 30 days, especially for new machines. Okay, I will skip that one. There are these common issues. Lenses are cloudy, EDM have failed, battery is not responding. And all these we can try to attempt to address. But also your machines speak to you. Either by sound or by heads, the lights which are there, or by failing to respond. So there is a way your machine will always talk to you. So it is important to tell us what exactly your machine is doing or not doing. For example, top code 303, error 03 means turn off and then back. The total station is likely to start. E61, EDM failure. Maybe you need to replace it. E69, no response to commands. That is a very common in those top call machines. E600, CPU needs replacement. I'm now cheating. I'm now telling you some of our exams we used to. They have nice. We have a number of contracts since 2004, and because Minister of Lands was our first customer, he appears there first, but all these are after successful bidding. Okay, we have also gone into career guidance and uh, senior secondary students who were requested by Ministry of Education to at least tell them what surveyors, photographers, hydrologists, what they do. And uh, we asked this question what course would you like to do at university? Out of the three schools we have been to, around the 10 primary schools, we have uh, after according to the director of studies, 4,337 students and 246 students say land surveyor out of that number. And then they said they made maps and diagrams, three students. One student, instead of saying cartographer, said, sir, is that a cartographer? <laughs> Geomatic four students say they knew the term, and this was because they had relatives. 
The total station, what is the total station? Is the machine for taking pictures of roads and land. Then another one said, this was that woman in Nakawa, said, it is a special camera for engineers. We have also asked registered surveyors how they ended up becoming what they are. And the question and the answer is also very interesting. Actually, many of them say, I just fooled myself by accident. Many of them, they never prepared from senior work. So we need to identify the problem and address it. We need also to be visible to the ordinary people. That was interesting. Also, these terms were very hard, the secondary school students. This, nobody says, I want to be a value one, a physicist, a hydrologist, a physical planner, all this. When you ask them, they say, I want to be a lawyer, a doctor, and those in the internet, they say pilot and maybe engineer, rightly. So these are things that we need to market. It's a very serious matter. Okay. Challenges, damage your shipment, causes place. Use the warrant type, please use the warrant type. The warrant doesn't cover misuse or abuse of equipment. There are also custom plays. Breach of payment by customers. You bring equipment and then you have to wait for so many months to get paid. But also we have equipment that people don't pick up. So that's why we ask for some down payment. Wrong equipment shift is very rare. These are just some of the pictures of the real people you know training at our center. Um, this is how our center is in Entebbe and we are still building. This is the boss, professor of astronomy at the University of Florida, and I've been studying there since 2004 up to today, repair of these things. Okay, so when am I graduating is a big, big issue. <laughs> it's a big issue. Since 2004, we always have an argument with both. I say I'm done, he says no. So yeah, let us just continue like that. Now, this is a website where you can get used equipment, especially later. And Shalab is managing this website. So you can buy accessories, later accessories, total stations, RTK. And I've already introduced to you uh, Shalab, who is an instrumentation engineer. Okay. So we can supply a lot of equipment, our own, but also through our partners and accessories and training. We repair and we are here permanently, we own our premises. We are not a surveying farm, we engineering farm. We are not land surveyors of values. We are not an academic institution. We are not a credit facility for instruments. We are a support center for all the above, including a credit facility for instruments. Okay. So at the table, at the table there, we have surface equipment. There is a form which you can fill your name or your company's name, your location, phone, email, and any support. If it is training, you say training, total station, and help. And then you can mention the time, maybe next month or January. And then once you have five people, ten people, you come and stand one on one on any equipment of your choice. Then there's the procurer which has our contacts and then you can give your email and phone number. Make sure you write well that we can call you back. Madam Chair, I'd like to conclude. Uh, I congratulate the uh, department for five years. God bless you. Those are my phone numbers and some is full links down there. Thank you.